In this lesson, you'll learn about solving proportions. And to do that this way, we're going to use equivalent fractions. So sometimes we can use equivalent fractions when we're solving proportions. So a proportion is simply two ratios that are equivalent, okay, because they have this equal sign. So 4 sevenths is equal to something over 28. Well, I can use my knowledge of equivalent fractions. I know that seven times some number will give me 28. So if I multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, I'm multiplying it by actually by one. So I'm going to represent my one like that, okay? So I know seven times four is 28. So my one is going to be four over four. So four times four is 16. So n in this case equals 16. So this unknown quantity is 16. Four to seven is equivalent to 16 to 28, okay? So that's one example. Here's another example. Three to six is equivalent to six over 14. I can use equivalent fractions. I'm going to rewrite this, flip it over. I'm going to rewrite it as six over 14 equals three over n, okay? I'm going to do that so that I can show my, in this case, I'm going to divide. I know I can get from six to three by dividing by two. And if I divide by two on the top, I have to divide by two on the bottom. And there's my magic one. So I'm dividing this whole fraction or this whole ratio by one. So six divided by two is three. 14 divided by two gives me N and 14 divided by two is seven. So to solve for, um, an unknown quantity in a proportion, you can see if you can make equivalent fractions. That's the end of our lesson on solving proportions using equivalent fractions.